Hello everyone and welcome to today's class. So in the last class we had started with the chapter, chapter geometry, correct? So we were doing the chapter geometry. So we learned a few basics of geometry, right? We saw what are the few basics of geometry. Then we saw what are parallel lines and intersecting lines. And also we saw what are angles, correct? So in today's class, we'll be learning how to uh, measure the length of line segments and how to draw line segments, okay? So before that, we'll see what we did in the last class. Okay, so some basic geometrical terms are point. Okay, so point gives you a location or a position. Also, it has no length and breadth. Okay, then line segment. What's a line segment? It is something which has two end points and a fixed length. Okay, it has two end points and a fixed length. Then ray. What is a ray? A ray is a line segment which can be extended on one side or in one direction. Okay, so only beginning point, there is no end point. So you have only one beginning point, but there is no end point. And rays don't have a fixed length because you can extend in one direction to whatever length you want, how much ever you want, infinitely. Okay, then what is a line? A line is nothing but it is a line segment extended on or in both directions. Okay, it is extended in both directions. So it has no beginning point, no end point. Okay, so a line segment will not have an end or a beginning point and it doesn't even have fixed length. Then we saw what are planes and plane shapes. So a plane is a flat surface that can be extended on all sides and plane shapes such as rectangle and squares have length and breadth that can be measured. Okay. So these were few basic geometrical terms. Then we saw what are parallel lines and straight lines. So what are parallel, uh, first of all, what are uh, intersecting lines? Okay, so when two lines, okay, when two lines meet at a certain point, then that is called as intersecting lines. Okay, the point where the point uh, lines meet is called point of intersection okay and the two lines that are meeting are called intersecting lines okay so some lines meet when uh only when you extend them okay like figure two over here so when you extend the line lm and ef to point h that will give you an intersecting lines okay but there are few lines which never meet even if you extend them in both the directions okay so, how much ever you extend them, they will not meet. Such lines are called as parallel lines. So, example for parallel lines is railway tracks. Then we saw what's an angle. What is an angle? It is defined as the amount of turn between two straight lines that share a common end point. So, angles are measured in degrees. Okay. So, when two rays meet at a common point or a fixed point, an angle is formed. So, here ray OA and OB meet at the point. A or they are starting from the point A. O, sorry, not A, O. So, an angle is formed at O, okay. So, the, uh, okay, so you measure the angle O in degrees and you use a protractor to measure it. Then you saw what is an interior and exterior of angle. Okay, so when you know that an angle is formed when a ray is rotated, right. So, all the points lying in in the region between the initial and final positions of the ray are said to be interior of the angle. And the points outside of that are called as exterior angles. Okay, so now uh, let's start with today's class. First of all, we will see what is a geometry box. Okay, so what's a geometry box? A geometry box contains a set of tools which will help you in measurement and constructions okay so what is the shape of a geometry box it is uh, generally in the shape of a cuboid you all know what is a cuboid right it is a 3d shape which has rectangular sides okay so your geometry box is uh, normally cuboid in shape so it consists of five items so what are the five items you have a ruler which is also called as a 
scale okay so you have a ruler then you have a protractor which is used to measure angles ruler is used to measure length then you have something called set squares okay these are set squares and you have a divider and a compass okay so these are the five things that are available in a geometry box so we'll see what are each of these items so first of all ruler what is a ruler a ruler is used to draw and measure line segments okay so it helps you to draw line segments and also measure the length of the line segments then compass what is a compass a compass has a pencil holder and another pointed end connected by a pair of metal arms so if you look at the compass here you have a, a place where you can where a pencil can be inserted in and okay and it has a metal pointed metal arm that is this one okay so it has two metal arms right so it uh, has much use in geometrical constructions of lines and angles okay so you can use it to construct lines and angles okay it is referred to as a pair of compasses also you can draw circles using a compass then protractor what is a protractor it is a d-shaped or a semi semi-circular transparent tool it helps you in measuring angles and also to construct angles okay so that you will uh, we will learn later in this chapter then set squares okay they are two transparent triangular plane shapes the triangles are not identical both the triangles are not similar or identical to one another different okay and divider is a consisting of a pair of metal arms with two pointed ends used to compare line uh, lengths of line segments so if you want to compare length of two lines you'll use a divider okay now we shall learn how to use ruler compass and protractor in this chapter okay so uh, squares and dividers are not normally used okay they're not normally as usually used as a compass a ruler and a protractor okay so we'll learn how to measure length of a line segment so as you know a scale or a ruler is used to measure a line segment correct it is scale or ruler is used to measure a line segment so here they have asked you to measure the length of line this line segment a b okay so what you will do is first of all the zero of your scale okay the zero of your scale you will keep it at point a see how they have placed zero at point a right so you will keep it at point a okay so to measure a line segment a b place the ruler against the line segment such that zero coincides with a okay it should coincide with a note the value on the ruler against b now you see uh, the other end point that is b okay it is at which number it is at six so length of this line a b is six centimeters okay that is six centimeters so how will you construct a line segment so you can construct line segments of required length using a compass okay so cut off a line segment measuring 4.1 centimeter using a compass so first of all what you'll do you'll draw a long straight line and mark a point a on it okay draw a line of a uh, straight line okay any length it, a longer one okay you'll draw a long straight line okay and you'll mark a point a on it okay you have to mark a point a so here they have marked the point a over here now what you'll do you have to insert a sharp pencil into the compass and adjust the pencil tip such that it is same level as the pointed end of the compass so the pointed end and the tip of the pencil should be at the same level okay now you have to place this uh, sharp metal end of the compass on zero of your ruler okay and now you have to stretch the compass such that the pencil that is there is at the end of 4.1 centimeter mark so this is 4 the next line will be 0.1 so this will be 4.1 centimeter okay now place the metal end at point a okay so you after measuring 4.1 using a ruler you'll place this metal end at this point a okay and holding the tip of the compass that is this part you will cut off a arc on the line using the pencil so you will make a arc like this 
using a pencil on the line okay so now this point you name it as b okay so here the line segment a b measures 4.1 centimeter so you can do this or what you can do you can just take a ruler keep your uh draw a point at zero name it a okay name it a and then mark another point now you need 4.1 centimeter line segment correct or and then you can uh, measure 4.1 draw another point here at 4.1 name it b and join the two points okay then you can get a line segment so now we'll see a small video on how to measure and construct line segments good morning kids today we are going to learn how to draw and measure segments before that let us learn about the instrument to draw and measure line segments we use a ruler or scale to draw and measure the length of line segments it has markings in centimeters each centimeter is further divided into 10 smaller divisions each division is equivalent to one tenth of a centimeter it is called one millimeter kids remember one meter is equal to hundred centimeters one centimeter is equal to ten millimeters now let's see how to draw a line segment draw a segment mn of 4.8 centimeters this can be done in three steps. Step 1. Take a ruler and mark point M at 0 centimeters on the ruler. Step 2. Next, mark point N such that it coincides with the 8th division after the 4 centimeter mark on the ruler. Now, join the points M and N to form line segment MN and mark it as 4.2 cm. Now, let's solve another example. Draw a segment AB of 7.7 .7 cm. Segment AB of 7.7 is drawn like this. After learning about how to draw line segments, let us now focus on how we measure the length of line segments. Let's measure the length of segment MN. Keep zero of the ruler at point M. We count forward from zero to fifteen. Look, point N of the segment coincides with the sixth division after ten centimeters on the ruler. Thus, we say that segment MN is ten. Point six centimeters long. We read it as length of segment MN is equal to ten point six centimeters. Write it as shown. Now let's solve another example. Measure the line segment XY. We say line segment XY is equal to 5.3 centimeters. It was so easy drawing and measuring line segments.
so you also how to measure and draw lines correct so now we'll solve exercise 5.2 so here the first question is to measure the length of the following line segments and write the value below each okay so here first what you'll do you'll keep your ruler at point a and the marking at point b you will read and see what is the length okay so seeing the length you have measuring the length you have to write the length over here so for example if length uh, of line a b is around 3.5 centimeters so we'll write 3.5 over there okay so uh, since i can't measure the lines exactly here i cannot give you the answers for these so i want you to measure these lines and write the answers okay as a part of your homework and while do uh, while during the class also you can do it okay so, so question two here now we have measure and write the length of the line segments in each of the following also state whether the following figures are open or closed so here first of all you have a rectangle right you have uh, the first one a1 is a rectangle so you have to measure the length of all these line segments here that is a b b d c d and ac okay so you have to measure the length of all these line segments and write the length so how will you do it so over here you can write a b is equal to maybe it is 5 centimeter i don't know the answer okay i'm just telling you guess okay so here a b then you'll write bd what is the length of bd then you'll write the length of cd and also the length of ac so you measure it using your ruler and write the length of all the sides same way with the square you have to measure the length of all the sides so first of all is rectangle a open figure or a closed figure you all know what are open figures and closed figure now here rectangle here all the sides are joint correct all the sides are linked so it is a closed figure so first one is a closed figure now next one that is a square so you all measure the lines okay you all measure the line so you'll measure the line ef fh gh okay and eg okay so you'll measure these lines using a ruler all right measure and write and now what kind of a figure is this this is also a closed figure okay it's a closed figure then next one so here you have to measure the lengths of the line segments a b then you'll measure b c and you'll measure the line c d okay so you measure the length of these lines and what kind of a figure is this now this is a open figure all the sides are not linked together okay and it is open so this is a open figure now last one this triangle measure the length of all the sides and what kind of a figure is this now it is also a closed figure okay a triangle is a closed figure all right so now uh, last question use a ruler and compass construct the following line segments okay verify the length by measuring them again using your ruler so you know how to construct a line so use your compass and your ruler to construct these lines okay all right so this was all about le length of line segments in the next class we'll see how to measure and construct angles all right i'll see you all in the next class students thank you